Okay, today I'm going to be taking apart this LED yard light. It's solar powered. Stick these in your yard. They charge up during the day. Night comes, they turn on. The LED turns on. Um, I guess I've already taken off the LED part, the stake that goes in the ground. Uh, we're just going to open this up and see what's inside. I'm hoping to be able to use the circuitry inside. I'm trying to make a jewel thief with the color changing LED. Uh, my standard jewel thief circuit isn't working with the color changing LED. I've made some modifications to that circuit and still nothing. So you can look for that future video if I ever get it figured it out. Today I'm just gonna be taking this apart and see what the circuit is inside. It can't be very complicated. These things aren't very expensive. It's not hard to uh, just drive one little LED. This one has an on off switch, a lot of these don't. Okay, here's the circuit. We got a rechargeable battery, nickel metal highlight. Uh, this is 600 milliamp hours, 1.2 volts. That's pretty tiny. But you don't need much to draw one LED, that's where the battery goes. Here's the circuit. I'll get a close up of this, there's not much to it. Here's the circuit. This is the on off switch. Push button. There is a little cap, 104. There's a little diode. And there's what looks to be a, a resistor, but I bet it's not. I bet it's a little induction coil. That's this is well, these three components plus a transistor make up a standard jewel thief um, circuit, so I'm sure this is a, an inducer. On the back side, epoxied over something is I don't know what. Um, <laughs> it's probably a just a transistor. Um, so this looks like a pretty standard jewel thief um, circuit. That's all that's inside, but you know you could use that for something. The solar cell you could use this as just a jewel thief. I'm probably gonna try to hook this up um, to my color-changing LED and see if I can't make it make it work. 